Arthritis New Zealand has always been committed to trying to help people and support people with arthritis, regardless of age. Uh, I think the challenge that we face is the one uh, which we've known for some time, that this, the traditional support group model doesn't work for young people now. Uh, we've been trying to work with people around <laughs> improving improving those, and I think the link with the super young arthritics is one of those, and the how we do that better. We will continue to, to work with people, <laughs> and the flag flying behind me, <laughs> around around that. I don't think there is any simple answer because even what we've seen this morning is that if you get 20 people around the room there's 20 different ways of doing things and what we need to be able to find is some common gateways I suppose so that people don't stumble upon that, that information after months and years of looking. So that's what we want to be able to try and do is find some, some doorways, some telephones, social media, website information or printed information that is relatively consistently delivered. Well, I'm delighted to hear that you've found it, that things have improved because we have been working on it. I think it probably says several things. One is that we have had a definite social media presence and that um, we made a, um, a commitment to work alongside all the other groups. So instead of saying we're in competition with Super Young Arthritics, it was like, hey, we're in this together. Um, and we don't see that as, as being anything other than us um, meeting people in a different way. So I think there's been that commitment to, to see us as a joined up organisation, um, to be open to other ways of doing things. The 2010 change was the whole, we have to be able to meet people differently and that we have to provide services differently. And I think we've worked really hard on making sure that um, our staff think about, our paid and voluntary staff, think about other options for people rather than just the traditional support groups.